looks that oh, shit yeah. out. No, um, no, is there anything you know you're kind of a superstitious guy? Is there anything that you start to do differently like, superstitiously when you know you're getting that close? No. Uh, I said it's. Uh, I really feel like they're, they're superstitions. I hope uh, they're more routines. Uh, you just do it to feel comfortable in the shootout, to uh, do your certain things to, to make sure that you're coming into every shot with the you know, same same way you're approaching it. Uh, obviously, it wasn't successful of the day, but um, you know, it's, uh, hopefully, the next time, give you more motivation to, to be better. What was going back and forth uh, through your mind when you went back and forth across the ice? Uh, more uh, probably the, the main reason for the last time was that uh, I was uh, kicking myself for doing things wrong that I didn't really do instead of just focusing on the, on the task. And, uh, just uh, trying to control myself. Um, the NHL All-Star game, in her case, uh, this was the first time you thought about that and how you were preparing in your excitement. So I'd rather be up here. But, um, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's uh, going to happen come um, my time if I do get the opportunity to play. Last time that uh, we were up in Hershey was when they were bidding on the Christmas jerseys, and your jersey went for over fifteen hundred dollars. What did your mom say <laughs> when she found out that someone spent that much just to like for a shirt? They, uh, <laughs> the did you tell her? Or did she? Well, a couple of years ago was uh, my first one when I hadn't even played a game yet, and I think it went for seven or eight hundred dollars. Oh my gosh! It's just uh, it's the way they are in Hershey. They they uh, I think they look at it as money's going to do a good cause. Um, it usually goes to charity, I think, I assume. And, uh, but you know, it's uh, pretty amazing what those those fans do in Hershey. And,